For the longest while, I've been looking for a way to connect this camera, the Canon 5D Mark III, to my computer and use it as a webcam. Didn't really find a way. I've been using the Fuji X-E3 as my primary camera for conference calls, but I've been still researching because I found it weird that Canon or some third party didn't release a way to be able to connect this via uh, USB. Well, I finally found it. It's uh, called the Canon EOS Webcam Utility. It was released a few months ago, and uh, if I, and I was actively searching for it, so you probably have not heard of it. It's now compatible for both Windows and Mac users, which is fantastic. It covers 41 camera models and is compatible, I think, with 14, yeah, 14 different apps. Uh, these apps are Google Meet, Zoom, WebEx, um, you could use it on OBS, on Discord, on Skype, YouTube Live. It's, uh, I'll show you the whole list, but essentially it's great because it's a free application. So if you already have one of the 41 cameras that are on this list right here, uh, they, they, it, it really spans from the uh, 1DX to the uh, 5D Mark III, 5D Mark IV. You have Rebel, Rebel T3, Rebel T5. Um, the newer mirrorless cameras, the M50, the R, R5, and R6, and even three power shot cameras. So you simply take your camera, a USB cable that's compatible. So I'm using a micro USB in this case for the 5D Mark III. Uh, newer cameras might be a USB-C. And then you simply plug it in to your laptop after downloading the utility. So to download the utility, you simply choose if you're on Windows or on Mac. Uh, I'm on Mac in this case. You choose your camera model and you download the utility for your specific camera model. So I'll click over here. It's right here, EOS Webcam Utility, Mac OS, and we hit download. All you need to do is run through the installer and then you're good to go. So now, as you could see, I'm in a Zoom call, a test Zoom call. And I'm going to go down over here into the video settings. And you'll see when I click that, a new option has appeared, the EOS webcam utility. So if I click that, you're going to see it's going to activate this camera right here. And I'm going to come in onto a new feed just like that. I'm getting a bit of lag using this because it's going through a screen recorder and I have many applications running, but it gives you an idea that it does work and this is now simply connected to a USB cable and being detected as a webcam. All right, here's another test using the Canon 5D Mark III, uh, but not in Zoom. So now I'm just recording directly through OBS and we should have way less lag between the audio and video. It's just running. <laughs> I, I have the Zoom, which is already a intensive application, well, somewhat intensive application with OBS to record the screen, recording audio, uh, and essentially two cameras plugged in as USB devices. I have two USB hubs uh, with Premiere Pro open. So it's a bit heavy to be able to, uh, for my 2016 MacBook Pro to be handling all this, but this at least gives you an idea of the image quality uh, in, reg in a regular environment uh, using the 5D Mark III as a webcam. You'll see the background blur uh, is really cool. You could get awesome bokeh uh, by using this as, uh, yeah, just simply using the, the EOS uh, webcam utility. If you have one of the 41 cameras on the list, I really invite you to download this. It is super cool. It's going to help you take your meetings to a whole new level. One small note is make sure you always have enough power for your camera, uh, whether that's plugging it in via USB-C. I believe you get power delivery on some of the newer Canon cameras. If not, you could get a battery pack uh, where you have two, two batteries and you just charge them, uh, let's say, every day or every other day, depending how many meetings you have, or you find a way to connect it uh, directly to a power source. So there's some dummy batteries that essentially are 
uh, wired and you could just plug it into the wall to be able to have continuous power for your camera, which is the case for my Fuji X-E3, which is um, a great idea because then you never have to worry about your camera dying uh, halfway through a call, which would be unfortunate. So that's it. Um, I hope this helps. If you don't have one of the compatible cameras, but you have a modern DSLR or mirrorless camera, definitely check out my last video speaking about the HDMI capture card. That's what I'm using for this camera. Once again, uh, you're able to use a clean HDMI out signal and connect uh, a camera. So no matter which brand, if it has clean HDMI out, um, it's a big game changer. But if not, Canon EOS utility. Thank you, Canon, for coming up with this. It's super cool. I'm excited to see if other brands do it. I'm sure Sony must be working on that. Nikon or Fuji as well. Uh, have not looked into that yet. But I'll dive deeper uh, eventually. So, yeah, stay tuned for another video. I have some others coming up. Uh, so I hope you like this. If so, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. In any case, I will see you in the next one.